my boy Homelander has to be the most unintentionally funny character on this show because he is sitting here in his throne chair looking out over the city weeping over the fact that A-Train betrayed him as though him and A-Train have been the most tightest of boys since season one. Like he hasn't been threatening and demeaning A-Train since the beginning of the show. Like he didn't spend the entirety of, what was that? Was that season three? Calling A-Train everything from being useless to a fat fuck and threatening to kill him because he decided to speak up for himself like consistently every single week you're going to hear me glaze anthony Starr for the fantastic job that he does as homelander but there's just there's just a certain level to this man where i don't even know if he sets out to be funny but he just ends up coming across completely and unintentionally hilarious now there were people online talking about the fact that Homelander should have been able to tell that A-Train was essentially lying because he can he can hear the the rushed pulse and the increase in the heart rate for when somebody is lying to him. The same way he did when he caught Starlight in the elevator and she essentially just told him, you know, if I'm lying, am I lying? And he listens to her heart rate and her pulse and then he basically comes to the fact that she's not lying and he gets pissed off and he leaves here's the thing has it ever been actually confirmed that in regards to a train that his heart is always beating fast because we know that when he was having heart problems before because of all the v that he shot up that his heart would start beating irregularly and then he would pass out and they kept telling him that you know if this keeps happening to you you're eventually going to die I'm going to assume that because he's a speedster and he always has to be able to go into an accelerated motion that his heartbeat and his pulse must be beating completely erratically the entire time. So to Homelander and luckily for the boys, this fact in regards to A-Train makes him basically the perfect mole, which is Homelander can never tell when a train is essentially lying or telling him the truth i feel as though when he was having heart issues it was a lot easier for him to be able to tell because if a train was afraid his heart would just start beating a whole lot faster and that would be the cue but with this new heart and the fact that he's been running back and forth across the city way more often helping the boys with their missions i can only assume that his heartbeat must be lightning mcqueen motor all the time and homelander just could never tell in any way shape or form but homelander reacting this way really does go back to the relationship that he had with black noir where i feel as though he said something to noir along the lines of like you know uh i know what it's like to be betrayed by my team correction that was not noir he was talking to uh soldier boy in regards to the fact that being betrayed by your team, being betrayed by your family, this leans into the fact that for Homelander, he's always seen the Seven as his team, as his family. And when one of the members of the Seven either betrays him or works against him or leaves, or in the case of Maeve, attempts to kill him, he takes it kind of sort of like a personal slight because this is the family that he created for himself. Remember, he was raised in a lab, he was experimented on when he was a child, and he was essentially given the right to put the people that he wanted in place to be around him. And he looks at them differently than he does everyone else, which is why he puts up with the Deep's antics so much, because to Homelander, the Deep's pretty much like a little brother, or like a cousin that, like, you get along with most of the time but every once in a while you get absolutely sick and tired of and the constant betrayal definitely has an emotional impact on him that's just going to consistently build up until he absolutely goes ape shit and just starts killing everyone more or less the end game when you know if we're going to get the comic book scene of him being in the white house holding like you know the skull saying that he's accomplished everything that he wanted to accomplish. I feel as though that's more or less where we're going to go. But these are all just dominoes that are essentially been lining up for the last few seasons that are slowly getting knocked down one by one. And I'm still holding on to the fact that the final domino that's going to get knocked over 
is Ryan Butcher dying? Like, I don't, I'm telling people every single time I watch a new episode of this show that I really feel as though the trigger they're going to pull this season, a lot of people think it's going to be A-Train. I still think A-Train's at the top of the list for people who might die, but I think they might sneak in Ryan dying as well to be the thing that finally tipped the scales over and sends Homelander just into this death spiral. But let me know what you guys think about this. About the fact that my man was like literally in Vought Tower crying his heart out over this unexpected betrayal from A Train that he just could not fathom or understand. Tell me if when you saw that you didn't just like bust out laughing for how fucking comical the entire situation is. As usual, comment down below, let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.